All right, here is today's project, or tonight's project, I guess I should say. <clears throat> I am tearing into my 700R4 transmission. I'm installing a TH700R4 upshift kit right here, and here is the valve for it. I'm installing a TCI universal lockup kit, and there's all the parts for that. And I'm also installing a BNM Transpack for the 700R4. And here's all the uh, gaskets and things I'll need for that. This is what the transmission looks like with the uh, pan removed and the uh, transmission filter removed right here. You can see the uh, fourth, uh, <clears throat> fourth gear uh, torque converter lockup is uh, right there. Um, all the parts of the transmission right there. Oh, I also got um, a couple big transmission coolers right here too. One's for the transmission, the other one's going to be for oil. Well, actually two for the uh, transmission and one for the oil. The radiator I'll be using in the project. The uh, diesel engine that's going to be going in my Caprice instead of the 3 to 5 gasser. But, alright. Okay, I have the valve body out of the transmission. Um, I have the cover plate taken off right here. Um, the next step is to remove one of the check balls. Um, <clears throat> you got to make sure you have a check ball in this position right here. Give you an idea what the transmission looks like. transmission valve body that is. You'll need a check ball here. You'll need a check ball here. The large check ball will go right here. There's another check ball right here. There's another one right here and from the factory it comes with this one but with the manual it's saying do not install check ball in this position. So we'll go ahead and take that out right now. With my magnetic pickup. Take my socket off there. Got it. So we'll take that and just set that aside. Next thing we gotta do, now that we got that all set up and ready to go, is we'll turn the page here. And figure out where we gotta drill through. Yeah, here we go. Drill an eighth inch hole through here. the other one an eighth inch hole right through here and a three thirty seconds hole right down here and the kit comes with uh, all the required uh, drills and everything to uh, drill through this so I'll uh, get those things drilled through there deburr them and Get ready to put this all back in there. There's the kit with the gaskets in there. And then I'll have to put some spacers in with the accumulator. And then uh, take the uh, valve body apart and mess with some of the valves in there too and put some, uh, remove some springs. So, all right, next step, drill this out and then we'll uh, take the uh, um, valve body out right here and uh, show you which pieces that will need to be removed and taken out and pulled through. Okay, I've already drilled out the um, valve body plate according to the directions here on the Transpack kit. I've went ahead and circled uh, the areas that you need to drill out. It, the kit comes with uh, a drill. Uh, it's pretty easy instructions, but um, just so you can see here. Now these two up here on the top get the uh, larger 
of the two drill bits and the one down here at the bottom you use with the uh, smaller drill bit that's provided. And I've got all the areas marked there. Next thing I'm going to do is take the pin out on the uh, MTV upshift valve uh, according to the diagram right up here. And the valve body right here, it would be right here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this over and take and drive this pin right here out with a um, punch. Okay, I have the MTV upshift valve out. Um, here's what it looks like. It came out straight down here and what the instructions tell you to do is just remove this spring and then I'll put it all back in there. I've got the roll pin out. I'll just slide that back down in there. I don't know if this thing will focus on the uh, instructions. Probably not. Um, but yep, just uh, punched it out with a uh, nail and um, Pulled it out with the set of pliers. There we go. Next step, put that back in, and then um, do the uh, line vice valve. Uh, replace the uh, spring for that one too. So I'll show you the next step. All right, now I am taking the aluminum plug recess and the. Uh, line bias valve out. I'm going to replace it with the blocker that it comes with right here. The height that you need to be pulling it out is right here if you're looking at your valve body. It's this piece right here. I'm going to take that out and let you see what that looks like. With that. All right here is what it looks like when it's out. I removed that pin right there and it came shooting right out. So um, I am taking this spring out and I'm replacing it with this blocker right here. And I'll put all that right back in. One. I'll have to turn that upside down, shake that in there. But you get the idea. This aluminum recess should face out. So whenever it goes back in there, the recess will be facing out like that. Some people would think that it goes in like that as a cap, but no, this has to face out like that. Okay, the next step is actually in your transmission. The pressure regulator valve assembly must be installed as shown in this order. Pressure valve, pressure regulator valve, pressure regulator spring replaced with blue spring from kit which is right here reverse boost valve Revo reverse boost valve sleeve TV boost valve sleeve and pressure regulator retaining spring and I'll show you where that's at on the transmission it is right down in here you'll see your gear selectors right here and it's right down in there. So this part here has got to come off. Um, I'll show you kind of a uh, trick to getting these things off here. You take your screwdriver and then you just kind of twist the uh, twist the ring around and uh, kind of push it push it down a little bit at the same time. Um, now the uh, now the little um, holes are aligned like straight through here so you can get like these El Cheapo uh, <laughs> um, snap ring pliers like I got right here to get down in there and squeeze in and pull it out so you can take the whole assembly apart so that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'll show you what the assembly looks like while it's apart all right here is the pressure regulator valve as I've taken it out of the transmission according to the instructions here it all goes back like this this end will sit down inside there. That one will go in first. And what they are telling you to do is replace the come back here. Replace the uh, blue spring instead of the uh, factory spring which for mine was uh, like a silver or yellowish. 
reverse boost valve, reverse boost valve sleeve, TV boost valve, and the TV boost valve sleeve, and the retaining ring. All right, I'm gonna get this all put back together and then move on to the next step. Okay, I got the boost valve um, in there, the uh, pressure valve and the clip all snap back in there. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the accumulator. This is how it looks stock. So I'll go ahead and take that out. Take this pin out, set it in my pan. Take the spring out and then just wiggle the uh, accumulator right on out. I'll set it my my pan too. Okay, next step is to install the blue spacer right here on the accumulator piston pin and then install the accumulator. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Right down here is the accumulator piston pin and in my hand I have the blue spacer so I'll drop that down on there and then just set the accumulator right down on top of there. Simple as that. Actually with that last step I had to take the accumulator and spin it around a little bit until it uh, locked down in there but now it's set in flush actually sitting underneath there which is how you want it so the uh, um, uh, valve body separator will set on there flush okay now I'm installing my 700R4 upshift kit so it does not shift into fourth, third gear um, from fourth uh, until about three quarters throttle on factory settings is about half throttle. I like it at three quarters. So I'm going to take out the roll pin right here and disassemble this and show you what this is like. You can skip this part if you're just installing the trans pack. It is with the roll pin out right here. Kind of hard to get out, but it's out there. I'm going to swap it over and put it all back in. Done. Back in there. There's the old one, the one that came out of it. The new one's in there. Lined up the hole and um, put the pin back down in there. Kind of lightly tapped it back down there with the hammer so that's done next I'm gonna put the uh, check balls in there um, now with the uh, gaskets one goes to the case and it'll have a C on it as you can see right there and the other one will have a V on it which will go to the valve body this one here will go up against the case right here the check balls are already in place right here again You'll see the one right here. This one has been removed. This one will stay in there. Yep. And that will be there. So, all right, next up, just put the uh, check balls in the uh, valve body. I'll show you that again. Instead of check balls are in the uh, valve body now. <laughs> Gotta install a uh, check ball there, as according to the manual. Another one down in here, as you can see. And something that I forgot to do is there's one also right by the accumulator, right down here. And I'll just pick that one up and get that one out. And that one came from right down there. One in here, one up here. Leave this one out. Leave that one out, and leave that one out. Okay, the gaskets are on there. I'm going to set this back down on there and hook up the linkage and uh, get it all set back down on there and um, do the steps for the uh, accumulator uh, on the outside. So, I'll show you what the next step is after I get this on there. I'm going to line it up with a couple uh, of the bolts just so the uh, gasket will match on there. So, put a couple bolts going up this way and um, that will help align it and then set it down on there. Alright, good. Now I have the valve body bolted back down on there. The uh, shift stopper up there and it's all uh, 
link, the linkage is uh, hooked in there to the valve. Now I'm going to install the accumulator. This is how it came out. Um, this piece set down inside of here, and then this piece set down on top of there. But I'm going to use the one for the uh, strip use, so I'm going to use the uh, blue spacer, drop it down in there like that, and then use the uh, red spacer like that, then set the uh, accumulator piston for the one two shift down in there. Kind of tap that down in there. Easier when I'm not holding my camera, but and then I'll set this. down on here like this bolt it all down in there and then I'll uh, finish connecting the rest hooking up pipes in there okay, there it is all back together um, got the valve body on there got the accumulate 1-2 accumulator put on there auxiliary valve body on over there and the uh, tube going through put on there and um, I will uh, be splicing into the um, uh, solenoid here so I can hook up the uh, manual control for the uh, torque converter lockup so I can uh, have a torque converter lockup in second third and uh, control in fourth as well um, but I guess I really don't need to show that that's uh, pretty straightforward and simple um, all I'll have to do is just splice into the uh, solenoid down there and then plug uh, it into the wires there so there's t there was today's project um, how to hook up a, a B&M trans pack uh, shift kit for a 700R4 um, should have uh, all the instructions in there everything's hooked back up I'll uh, go through here and kind of let you see everything that was on here in case you have any questions just leave a comment on this video good luck with yours this really wasn't a very hard project uh, this took me a little bit longer than what I anticipated but I mean if you've uh, done this one before it shouldn't take you much more than a couple hours or so to do good luck everybody alright I have my TCI universal lockup kit for my 700R4 all wired in plugged in the A right here which is the uh, top left one into the positive terminal for the solenoid the brown one and then the um, negative went to <coughs> the B side which is the second one down up here second one down on the left and then also there's another wire that came off there and then went to the um, fourth clutch switch and uh, this one here's got two on there so I took the uh, original OEM one that only had one terminal on it <coughs> off and put the one that was supplied in the kit on here and then um, with the um, uh, number D or the letter D which is the top right one up here I plug that one into the fourth clutch switch as well um, so that way I can have uh, control over the uh, torque converter lockup in second and third as well not only just uh, fourth gear so that way I can um, lock it up uh, then as well because I'm sure I'll want to have lockup in that because I'm sure I'll be going over some uh, hills and mountains and everything so I'll want to have full control over that um, so that's how this is wired up I'm gonna put the pan on and uh, bolt everything back down on there and I'm pretty much done except for the uh, wiring um, whenever I get it hooked into the car but uh, that won't be included in this video that should be fairly simple the uh, instructions show you how to do that so I'm gonna hook the filter on put the um, hand gasket on there and start tightening all these bolts on there I am done there it is hope you learned something and we're done pans on all finished now I can hook it up to my 6.2 diesel and get this 
1992 Caprice wagon conversion going. So this is how you did the uh, parts for the transmission. Hope everybody has good luck with their project. Take care. Stay tuned.